everybody knows about liquid nitrogen, right? What happens when you put something in liquid nitrogen? Is it, it freezes, right? So we don't have liquid nitrogen, because that's, that's pretty tough to, to get. I don't know if you guys ever tried to buy that. That's, that's really hard. But what you can do is you can make something that's very comparable to liquid nitrogen, and we're going to call it poor man's liquid nitrogen. I didn't come up with that, OK? That's just the name. And what you do is you take isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. It's the same thing that you would use as essentially nail polish. And you put with it dry ice, which is very dangerous, by the way. Dry ice, you don't want to handle this stuff. What it does is it brings the temperature of this liquid down to negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we have in here is we have our very own jack-o'-lantern watermelon. And just to prove exactly how cold this is and what happens uh, when, you, when you take a jack-o'-lantern that is uh, carved out of a watermelon, I'm going to have all three of these girls show you what happens when you introduce watermelon to baseball bat. OK. All right. I'm going to put the mic down for one second so I can do this safely. OK. It's very cold in my hands. All right. I'm going to set it up here on the pedestal of science. OK. You all have your gloves on. Perfect. All right. Who wants to hit? Maddie. Let's give it up for Maddie. OK. You're going to want to hit square. Oh, we have, we're, there, someone said wait. They're, they're prepping their phones. Does everyone have their phone out? Yeah. Perfect. When you post this video, we want hashtag FabLabTV. Everyone OK with that? Everyone's cool with that? Perfect. OK. Maddie, I want you to hit this thing. I want you to be right about here. And I want you to hit this, this frozen, deep frozen watermelon right here so that it goes that way. So if whoever is over here, you are in the danger zone. This is the danger zone. You all know that. OK. Now, it is very brittle, but I want you to hit it like a pinata. All right, now we're all going to step back. We're all going to step back. OK. All right. And on the count of three, we're going to have you hit it. Up, up. We all need to bow down. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Nice, let's give it up for Maddie! All right, we're gonna go ahead and load one more. I mean, these things are, they're pliable, right? You can move them around. They're as if we just carved them today. And this solution is going to deep freeze them to the point where they will shatter like a Christmas ornament. You guys ever drop a Christmas ornament? And it shatters on the floor? Okay, rotate this around. And I, I'm already, I'm already feeling it, and it is, it is hard as ice. I'm going to give it a couple more rotations. Who's up next? Faith? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give it up for Faith. Yeah. All right. So a moment ago, you saw me squish it, right? You saw how, how I could bend it in my hands. All right, what are we talking, 10, 15 seconds later? All right. We're going to go ahead and load it up on the pedestal of science. Face, put the face out, right? All right, again, we're going to want to hit it right and square, right in between its, I guess, its ears, if you will. OK, on the count of three, we're all stepping back. And on one, two, three. <laughs> nice, give it up for Faith. OK, who do we have up next? What is it? Who is it? Anaya. Anaya. Give it up for Anaya. <laughs> Because science is all about solving problems. OK. Just like everyone else, give it a good whack right here. Make sure you aim that way. All right, I'm going to stand back. And on the count of three, go ahead and give it a good hit. All right. On one, two, three. Oh. She took the side out of it. Give it up for Naya.